very good afternoon my dear students today let us discuss about a simple topic which is very very important and a part of our day to day life that is temperature generally whenever we get temperature in our mind we will get in our mind something else like cold drinks cup of coffee and like this in summer we will get hotness and in winter we will get cold like we use sweaters and blankets in some in winter and in summer we will try to wear very light clothes this is because of a very very important character that is temperature so how much cold it is how much hot it is suppose we want to measure about the temperature suppose we want to measure estimate how much it is whether it is really hot whether it is really cold and that measurement of a quantity a character a celebrity of today's discussion that quantity is temperature and temperature is a physical quantity which is used for comparison of hotness or coldness with one standard quantity that is measurement of temperature and with what quantity we should measure see suppose if i say this object is cool or hot how can i say if i know or if my body temperature is cold and this temperature is more then i feel it as hot if my body temperature is more than this body temperature i feel it as cold so always remember the measurement of temperature is always relative concept you may feel sometimes cold you may feel sometimes hot with the same object based on your body temperature so it is relative measurement we will compare the hotness or coldness an object with the surrounding then we feel that it is cold or hot and how much hotness is there how much coldness is there now to measure that we need a quantity called temperature and the instrument which is used for measurement of temperature is called thermometer for thermometer we will be having a sensitive element here and it will sense the temperature hotness or coldness and based on that temperature there will be one working fluid inside that and that working fluid is mostly we use mercury and when it expands based on the temperature available immediately that expansion is traced along in one dimension that is along the length and that is calibrated as the divisions if you take long measurement you will be getting more number of divisions if you take short less number of divisions and nowadays we use a digital also so this measurement instrument measurement of temperature instrument which is called thermometer is our topic of interest today and calibration of temperature is based on calibration of thermometer is based on what is higher maximum temperature you are going to measure and what is the minimum temperature you are going to measure and with what reference you are measuring i am measuring with reference to let us say ice and i am measuring with reference to let us say steam so the usually and abundantly available material or substance we call it as a water so by taking water as a reference and by taking water's solid state as a ice point 0 degree celsius as a lower fixed point and steam 100 degree celsius as higher fixed point we measure the temperature and here very beginning there was a research based on these instruments and these are the scientists kelvin and carlos and daniel gabriel fahrenheit these three members they worked on the measurement of temperature based on different different criteria and finally they developed or simply i can say they invented an instrument for measurement of temperature based on a different scales so the kelvin scale give you higher fixed point at 373 kelvin and lower fixed point at 273 kelvin celsius taken as a calibration for his instrument as higher fixed point boiling point at 100 degree celsius and melting point at 0 degree celsius this is called as the ice point this is called as the steam point and coming to the fahrenheit scale 
boiling point here is 212 and melting point is 32 degree Fahrenheit. And these things already you learn in your schooling. And today we are going to solve certain problems based on the competitive exams on conversion of the scales. Suppose if I give measurement, temperature measurement in Kelvin, how to express that in Celsius? Suppose if I give you in Fahrenheit, how to express in Celsius? So the conversion is our discussion today. So for that, I need the calibration. See, higher fixed point in Kelvin is 373 and in Celsius 100 and in Fahrenheit 212. And lower fixed point in Kelvin is 273, in Celsius it is 0 and in Fahrenheit it is 32. And what about this 310, 300, 37, 27, 98, 80? These temperatures are associated with our day-to-day -day life. And this higher fixed temperature here is our body temperature and these readings are our surrounding temperature. Now, see here this is body temperature and this is surrounding temperature like we say room temperature also. And now, in Kelvin room temperature is 300. In Celsius it is 27, in Fahrenheit it is 80. Now let us focus on problem solving analysis based on these scales and conversions, right. And finally, there is one more representation is here. This is called absolute zero, the temperature at which the internal energy of a substance is zero. Internal energy means what? The energy which is associated by random movement of the atoms inside the substance. If you take any substance here, in this substance there will be molecules and inside the molecules there will be atoms, micro level study. And here because of the availability of the temperature, availability of the thermal energy due to the temperature, they will be in random movement. And because of that random movement, there will be certain energy called kinetic energy. Because of their relative position, there will be internal potential energy and the sum of vibration energy, kinetic energy and potential energy, all these are termed as internal energy and that internal energy will be zero at absolute zero temperature, right. Now, let us focus on conversion, that is our topic of interest today, major topic. Suppose if I take any scale, something like this, if I take any general scale, and in this general scale, scale, there will be higher fixed point, let us say higher fixed point. And there will be lower fixed point, LFP. In another way, I can fix this as X100 and I can fix this as X0. Now, X100 is there, X0 is there. Suppose I want to measure unknown temperature here, X. And this X in unknown scale, I don't know, that is unknown scale, general scale. I, if I want to measure this x value in Fahrenheit, how much? And in Celsius, the same temperature, how much? And in a Kelvin, the same substance temperature, how much? So, to discuss about this, there is help from mathematician. Whenever there is calculation involved, whenever there is the estimation involved, we take help from mathematician. So, mathematics is the language of the science. Here, we will take mathematics help and we measure like how much a difference is there. What is the difference here? X minus and what is the range of the scale? Let me take range of the scale here. Range of the scale is the X 100 minus X naught. And how much a difference from unknown value to lower fixed value. This is x minus x naught. And always remember, in any scale, in any scale, the major value x here and how much measurement from reference, this is a reference, this is x minus x naught divided into how many parts are there, how many divisions are there, x 100 minus x naught divisions are there. This ratio is always same whichever the scale it is. Let me write down it is, let me write down clearly. Huh. X 
minus x not over x hundred minus x not equal to constant. Here it is easy to remember. Suppose if I ask you what is your age, you will say like 15 years. 15 years means what? Right from beginning. When you born at 0 and your age is 15 years. Suppose if I ask you what is the height, you will measure from reference from ground, from ground to here, let us say 160 centimeter, 170 centimeter. Similarly, now I am measuring temperature and that temperature is somewhere here, let us say x and how much it is, that is this one. Numerator is how much it is from 0 to, this is x naught, right? And from x naught to how much it is, that is 1. And I want to know in terms of numerical. So, numerical means what? How many divisions are there? See, here how many divisions are there? From 32 to 212, how many divisions? 180. From 0 to 100, how many divisions? 100. From 273 to 373, how many divisions? 100. And this is 180. And what is general term here? General term is x100 x0. So, x100 minus x0 equal to constant. Simple. And in general, we can write the same expression properly. For any scale, for any scale, remember, reading on scale, that is x minus lower fixed point, this is lower fixed point only, x0 divided by now, what is denominator? Range of the scale. How many divisions are there from 0 to 100? From lower fixed point to higher fixed point? From ice point to steam point? So, here I can write upper fixed point minus lower fixed point. This is x100 minus this is x0. And the expression wise I can write like this. K minus 273 by 100 equal to C by 100 equal to F minus 32 by 180 equal to constant to understand this in a better way. Same expression let me write for each scale. See for Kelvin scale let me write K unknown measurement minus lower fixed point 273 over and higher fixed point 373 minus 273 equal to it is same in any scale. So, even in Celsius scale also it should be the same value. So, now C I do not know minus C, I do not know, minus lower fixed point 0 over higher fixed point 100 minus lower fixed point 0. That must be equal to again in another scale. Same, let us say the unknown value is Fahrenheit. And F minus F naught, what is F naught value here? F minus 32 over and steam point 212, higher fixed point minus lower fixed point 32. And this is general expression you should remember. And no need to depend on anything. In this topic, the only thing you need to remember is this one. And just the application of this to here, K minus 273 by 373 minus 273 like this. Suppose if I later, if I give you some A scale, A scale means what you should write? A minus A naught over A hundred minus A naught. Simple. Suppose if you give me your name scale, let us say uh, here randomly Satvika is there. So, let me take Satvika scale S minus S naught by S hundred minus S naught. Simple. You can design your own scale for measurement. So, the calibration is very important. That calibration is this one. Right, my dear students, I hope you understood. Let me focus on the conversion now. Right focus on the conversion. Let me take the first conversion for conversion of F into C and C into F, Fahrenheit to Celsius and Celsius to Fahrenheit. I know that F minus lower fixed point 32 by 212 minus 32 180 equal to C minus 0 I can write C simply, C by 100 minus 0 I can write 100 simply. So, this is the conversion for F and C and from this I can write here once observe this calculation part let me give you once again. If I take this 180 here into 180, 0, 0 get cancelled and I am left with 9C by, sorry, 18C by 10. Again, I can take help of the 2 as a common factor here for both numerator and denominator, 2 times 9 and 2 times 5, that is 9C by 5. And the same thing I can express here, 
by taking minus 32 this side, I will get plus 32. So, this is my expression here. So, what is f now? f is 9c by 5 plus 32. Or, if I want to express c, c for c simply you take 100 this side into 100. That is it. So, I will get 5 by 9 into f minus 32 or f is equal to 9c by 5 plus 32. This is my expression and this is conversion between f and c. This is very simple algebraic simplification. I hope everybody is very comfortable with this. Next, for relation between Kelvin and Celsius. Here, for Kelvin you know very well. What is Kelvin? This is unknown value k and for Kelvin I can write k minus what is the lower fixed point? 273 over. Now, higher fixed point 373 minus lower fixed point 273. That equal to k minus 273 over 100. For c, for c you know already. c minus 0 by 100 minus 0. Simply it is c by 100 I can say. And this is conversion. Now, just you write down. K minus 273 over 100 equal to C by 100. And just any student can easily guess this one. 100 and get cancelled. And you are left with K equal to minus 273. You can take other side and that will become plus 273. So, that implies K equal to C plus 273. And easy to remember this. Easy to remember because K is larger than C in even alphabetical order also k equal to c plus 273. And now, let me clear the screen. Right. Now, for relating f and k, yes, already I know k equal to c plus 273 and c equal to k minus 273. Already I know the relation between f and c. So, just observe carefully. Just if I take help of this one and this one, I can easily derive. Okay. See here, f equal to 9c by 5 plus 32 or c equal to 5 by 9 f minus 32. What is c here? Instead of c, I can write k minus 273. This k minus 273, I can plug here and this will become, this expression will become, this expression will become, just observe here, k minus 273 equal to 5 by 9 times f minus 32. And here minus 273 will be taken to the right hand side and that can become as per the transpose rule in your 6th class algebra. Minus 273, when it goes to the right hand side, that will become plus 273. So, k equal to 5 by 9 f minus 32 plus 273. Now, for problem solving, one more thing is very important here. What is difference in temperature in different scales? Simple. See, I know that. What are the conclusions here? k equal to c plus 273 and now I want to take delta k, delta k equal to delta c, delta k equal to delta c, very simple expression. Now, for this one, for this one, delta f is equal to, take this expression, delta f is equal to 9 by 5 times, in the place of c, you, you keep delta c, that is it. While writing the differences, always remember, forget about the constants because constants will be, in subtraction they will become 0. So, this expression in the place of C, I am keeping delta C, simple. In the place of C, I have kept delta C, very simple. And a 273 constant can be neglected in while taking difference. Now, coming to here, delta C equal to 5 by 9 delta F, that is it. And now, now, time to focus on problem solving. I hope you have noted it down. Right. Now, the first problem and here, try to focus the approach. Okay. In physics, problem solving is easier when you focus on the approach, solving methodology and you should be good at the simplification. That is it. Formula remembering not seriously a problem. It is not a serious problem. For remembering or for memory in physics, only certain things are required, not all the things. And remaining things by logic, you can get it. Now, I will show you. Even if you get, forget the problem, forget the conversion, forget the formula also, it is very easy for you to 
retrieve it. If you remember the calibration, what is the calibration? X minus X naught divided by X 100 minus X naught equals same in any scale. Okay. Let us focus on the problem here. The temperature on Celsius scale, the temperature on Celsius scale whose value is of the absolute reading, the temperature on Celsius scale whose value is of, of in absolute reading. Now, see here, we know that the reading minus lower fixed point over upper fixed point minus lower fixed point is constant and it is given already of the absolute. So, the hint given here is between Celsius and Kelvin, absolute means Celsius scale. Now, sorry, absolute means Kelvin scale. Here the data is asking in Celsius by giving the hint in relation in Kelvin and we know that C by 100 equal to K minus 273 by 100 and here 100 and 100 could be cancelled. And you are left with C equal to K minus 273. And now by this we can write K equal to C plus 273. And what is given data once observed? According to given data, the temperature on Celsius scale whose value is half Kelvin, half absolute. So I can write C equal to K by 2. And here if you observe the options, they are asking in Celsius, not in Kelvin. So convert this Kelvin into Celsius express this Kelvin in terms of the Celsius. So, by taking to this side, I can get K equal to 2C. Just by plugging this one into this equation, I can get in the place of K, if I plug this one in the place of K here and this will become in the place of K 2C equal to C plus 273 as it is C plus 273. And by taking C to the left hand side, it is Plus here, it will become minus if you get this one. So, 2C minus C, you will be getting C equal to 273 degrees Celsius.